And an MRI showed that there was a cancer or a growth, a tumor on my liver. And they uh, did a PET scan, and that kind of lights up a bad place, and it lit up. So they were pretty sure that there was a, a cancer before they operated on August the 3rd and removed it. The, the uh, tumor was only about two and a half cubic centimeters, where they removed about 85 cubic centimeters, which is about a tenth of my liver. And they did a biopsy and found that it was indeed uh, cancer and it was uh, melanoma. And they had a very high suspicion then and now that the melanoma started somewhere else on my body and spread uh, to, the, uh, to the liver. Well, at first I, I felt that it was uh, confined to my liver and that they had, the operation had uh, completely removed it, so I had quite relieved. And then that same afternoon, we had an MRI of my head and neck, and it showed up that it was already in four places in my brain. So I would say that night and the next day until I came back up to Emory, I just thought I had a few weeks left. But I was um, surprisingly at ease. You know, I, I've had a, great, a wonderful life. I've had thousands of friends, and, and uh, I've had an exciting and adventurous and gratifying existence. Within the bounds of my own judgment, I'll do what the doctors recommend uh, for me to extend my life as much as possible. So I don't look on this as any, any hardship on me. Former President Bush he called me at one time, and then George H.W. Bush, Bush Sr., called me yesterday afternoon again. I think I appreciated that very much, and their wives were there on the telephone with them. Uh, President Obama called, the Vice President called, uh, Bill Clinton called, Hillary Clinton called, Secretary of State called. You know, first time they've called me in a long time. <laughs> 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 and, uh, but I think they, the close friends that I've had uh, around home that have done special things to bring us, you know, peach pie, stuff like that, I, I just had a, a multiple effusion of uh, gratitude. I was able to do a number of good things when I was president, for which I'm very grateful, and, and that was a high point of my life, politically speaking. And I would say that my having been president of the United States, a great country, has made it possible for me to have the influence and contact with people and knowledge that has uh, been the foundation for the Carter Center. And we've had programs in 80 different countries on Earth for the poorest and most destitute people in the world. And that has been, I'd say, far more gratifying, personally. Well, the best thing I ever did was marrying Rosalind. <laughs> that, that's the pinnacle of my life, and we've had 69 years together, still together, and uh, so that's the best thing that happened to me. And we have a growing family. We have 22 uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, uh, tw 12 grandchildren and 10 great-grandchildren now, and they come in every year. <laughs> so, so we have a, a good and harmonious family, and, and I would say the haven for our lives have been, has been in Plains, Georgia. You know, I was born there, my wife was born there, and uh, I knew Rosa when she was first born. I was three years older and still am. Uh, and Plains has always been a haven for us. When I got out of the Navy in 1953, I came back to Plains, and I was a farmer for about 17 years. And then when I got through being governor, I came back to Plains. When I got through being president, I came back to Plains. And now, no matter where we are in the world, we're always looking forward to getting back home. Peace for Israel and its neighbors. That's been a top priority for my foreign policy projects for the last 30 years. Uh, as far as the quarter center is concerned, I would like to see Guinea worm completely eradicated before, before I die. I'd like for the last Guinea worm to die before I do. Uh, <laughs> I think right now we have 11 cases. We started out with 3.6 million cases. And uh, I think we have two cases in South Sudan and one case in Ethiopia and one case in Mali. 
in 70 cases in Chad. That's all the guinea worms in the world, and we know where all of them are, so I would say that would be my top priority. I, I think I have been as blessed as any human being in the world with, with having become the President of the United States of America and Governor of Georgia and the work of the Carter Center and a, a big and growing family and thousands of friends, so I don't think, and living to I'll be 91 years old, 1st of October, so I've had, everything's been a blessing for me, so I'm thankful and hopeful.